First of all, I'd like to thank the corporation NAEP, which stands for National Alliance Partnerships for Equity, uh, for allowing us and funding us uh, last year some students including ourselves and some graduated seniors, put on a conference promoting equity, representation, um, and other community opportunities in STEM. And that is partially why we're here. Also like to thank PLDW for funding us to be here. Thank you. Here's Tessie. Hello, my name is Tessie, and I am the senior advisor for San Jose High School. I am the head delegate at San Jose High School's Model United Nations and I'm an active key club member there. I am the vice president of the Associated Student Body and I have attended Stanford University's Girl Pro Program, which is a program I will be explaining more about later. So my, the first time I ever took a PLTW course, it was my sophomore year of high school. The first course that I took was Principles of Engineering and in all honesty, I did not connect with the course in the beginning. I thought that there was no practical use for engineering at that point, but yet I still have been performing at the top of my class. However, later on in the year, I realized that there were practical uses. For instance, on the slide, there is a picture of the very first lab report that I turned in. It was the West Point Bridge Design Lab, where I had to construct a bridge using different pipes. And I realized then that there was a usage for STEM. STEM is needed all throughout society, communities, and nations. I finally had an interest in STEM because of this experience. A few months ago in the summer, I applied to and got accepted into a program called Girl Code, which takes place in Stanford University. In the program, they taught girls how to code in Java and Alice, and we met prominent computer scientists that were female. This is very significant for someone like myself because I have grown up with an engineer as a dad and all the programmers that I knew were all male. There was no female representation that I was exposed to until I attended this program. The impact that this program and PLTW had on me was immense. I finally found what I love doing, which was STEM. I had a mindset change. Mindset is something that I talked about in the um, in the organization that Kiva was talking about through the conference, and I realized that the mindset that I had before was a very fixed mindset, that I thought that the skills that I had from birth were going to stay with me. There was no way to improve. It wasn't until I had an impact through PLTW that I realized that I should change this mindset into a growth mindset, a mindset that allowed me to explore different options and to gain new skills. This and PLTW have helped me gain confidence and ambition, something that I lacked before in STEM. So I would like to give a warm welcome uh, to, a warm thank you to PLTW for this experience. Thank you. Um, my name is Alina Baker. I'm currently a senior at San Jose High, and this is my second year as captain of Bulldog Robotics. Team 5 and a half one. Under my captaincy, I was able to maintain an equal gender ratio, something that was very uncommon in the engineering fields, and took up the responsibilities of head of electrical recruitment, public slash business, and public slash business relations. Under my captaincy, I incorporated a lot of the PLTW curriculum, including the design process and utilizing skills such as CADing when developing the robot. So this is a picture of our team. Uh, when I was a freshman, our team looked nothing like this. Uh, the students involved were predominantly male, white, and Asians, and we had a very weak female presence. I remember walking into the lab and feeling very intimidated because all I saw were people that did not look like me. I thought from this that I couldn't succeed in this field because as a Filipino-American, I saw no representation. From here, I took this experience and ran with it. There's a reason why our team is so diverse and has that equal gender ratio, and it's through one word that this can be fixed. Representation. With my representation on the team, I was able to encourage a lot of women because they felt like they were safe. In the words of one of our candidates for captaincy, once I graduate, Malika Jane, for the first time she felt like an engineer. For the first time, there was diverse insight, 
skills, things that the other men on the team could not bring to the table, that other women on the team were able to push. For once, she felt safe because she had someone to go to. And for once, there was a strong female image in the world of STEM. Thank you. Um, so here's a little bit, a bit about me. Uh, I'm going to focus less on myself. Um, I'm here in an interesting position because while I'm a student, I'm a senior in San Jose High School in the summers for the past two years and this upcoming summer, I'll be returning to Stanford for a tech camp where I teach other students uh, ages 13 to 18 how to code in Arduino with uh, the Arduino Nano, um, making video games in Python, modding Minecraft in Java. If any of you have kids who are into Minecraft, send them my way. Um, and I've noticed that when we talk about PLTW, it stands for Project Lead the Way. We're leading the way to something. We're leading the way to our futures, something that's community-based, international, the step between high school and college, the step between college and industry. We know that project-based learning works. We know that giving students the tools to be self-sufficient will make them group sufficient because they will bring something to the table that all together, none of them could have created on their own. These are the things that I want to see enacted in my classroom. These are the things that I push when I have students who think that they can't succeed. When there's the lone girl in the Minecraft modding with Java class and she doesn't believe that she can completely change the game for herself, literally, and bring home something that her parents are going to be proud of. Students in PLTW have a very similar narrative to, I guess, what I've seen in summer camps, which is you are hands-on, you are completely married to your project from the moment that you get instruction to the moment that it leaves your hand for showcasing, for instance, the capstone projects. We also see that students are taking very hard to understand concepts or lofty concepts and turning them into something that is grounded, something that they can say, I'm proud that I did this. Um, I'm also on the robotics team, so I can vouch for Alina when she says that being a member of that group, and seeing representation, also fosters a feeling of being able to take that to your career or being able to take that to your community. I again want to thank Nape for allowing us to hold the conference because that was showing our students, their families, other people in the area, that if they go to Autodesk.com, they can start signing up for free trials of CAD and start signing up for things and skills that they would not have had access to if they didn't know about them. We need infrastructure in order to teach kids that they really do have advocacy. They can package themselves professionally. They can go to their teachers, their, men their mentors, their, their other fellow students, and learn and grow. Um, from uh, my own standpoint, it was really easy to feel alienated first uh, doing STEM and PLTW because I've never really fit in, having a mother who was born in Vietnam, having a father who was born in Fort Smith, Arkansas, and somehow they convened in San Jose. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so that has also given me a, a unique perspective in seeing how this is not just a school or classroom issue, this is something that needs to go beyond the school into the community, beyond the community into the state and nationally. I feel like PLTW does a great job of spreading the wealth and making sure that every child has a chance. Making sure that there are pillars of advocacy, pillars of seeing examples, because that's what's going to take a student from just doing something and just going through the motions to saying, hey, I actually picked up a skill, something that I can write on my resume, something that I can prove to somebody else that I know how to do. So from the bottom of my heart and in each of our native languages, I'm going to say a big thank you, respectively, in Vietnamese, Tagalog, and Arabic. Gaman. Salamat. Shukran. Thank you.